be children who don't. I think it's the only one had left you like they think they're the only person in the world for a while. Oh yeah. And then realization that they're not the only person in the world. Are you recording? Mm-hmm. Like they, okay. What are you saying about children? They realize that they're not only the only per- the only person in the world what? Um, once after a little while after they um after they're get a certain age they realize that they're not the only person in the world anymore and they start feeling a little like it is like about it. Let down. How it's how well they're communicated with. Like if they're really opened up to at a young, young, young age, they realize there's other people, and they stop freaking out about stuff. Maybe that's why, like people that are parents that are more interactive with their children, the children grow up like more connected, more understanding, and more interactive with it. I think that um, the coolest. Well, I see I see photos of kids with their parents, and I see the coolest. Like most natural relaxed kids when you see the most natural relaxed parents. Interaction is a big thing definitely with your kids, but I think when your when your parents, when your mom or your dad is themselves yeah. and treats the their kid as not, oh this is my kid, I own you, but treats the kid as another person yeah. and lets the kid do what the kid wants to within certain respects. Um, yeah, they, yeah, they have I think the best relationships. And the kid then learns to develop relationships with everybody because the kid knows who the kid is and then accepts people for who they are. Because that's what they were taught. Mm-hmm. But most people want most people are just ignorant to it, you think? Ignorant to teaching their kids like that? You no, think? because parents, you parents don't know who they are. are. Exactly. Yeah. Parents are too much fear yeah. to yeah. even know who they are. Because of war? Because of Vietnam? And oh, war because, too. Of the, the ages, because of the way they were brought social, up. Social, everything. So it's just since mass communication, people have been more aware of who we are as a, as a human race. I think like uh, there's a theory. there's like a theory that people are on the uprising and independent films getting better and more smart. Books are getting smarter. Art is you know developing and evolving. And with technology, with evolution, natural evolution, we've always had a question of who we are and why we are. But back in the day, you see movies like Medieval Times. The princess has never asked why they have to marry this other person they just did. Now we, we're flexing that free will to, to ask why. And there's a lot more people. And there's yeah. a lot more people. And there's a lot more questioning of why. It's like we live in a debunked society that, that focuses on money. But everything else is work, working better. Except the money is just... Uh, is it? Or is that just a fear of mine because they never had it? Yeah, Money is just a number. Money doesn't really exist. Money is just a number. I'm worth four million dollars. I'm worth. It's the thing. The dollars. influence that you have with that number is the draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the influence. The, the, yeah. What you can do with that money. What you can do with that number, and the impact you can make on other people and yourself. You think you can affect other people with money? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you can really utilize really affect them? not with money, like I'm handing you money, but if you utilize the money for benefits, such as make a website. Or, you're right, give somebody food or something like that. But is that all, is that really affecting someone? I think it's like influence. When you're affecting people, you can't do it with money, you can only do it with your, your kind. You can, you can never really affect anybody, you can inspire them and they can affect themselves. But you, you can't do anything. inspiration is just a type of affection? You can't do anything, what's that? You don't think inspiration is just a kind of affection? Like we In that case, you don't, you're not inspiring somebody? When you give them that Christmas dinner, right? You know, just perpetuating the problem and prolonging it. But if you talk to the person rather than give them food, right? And then they understand that they can go work and get their own, or do whatever they can do, anything, anything. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. That's affection instead of influence. Influence is like buying them stuff, getting them the house, right. getting right. stuff. But I think that's good. Too. You can do both with, with money. You can influence with words. You can influence with words. Yeah, with money. You can also, I mean, to help someone out financially is, is a good thing as well. You know, I mean, like, a lot of people could spend their entire lives and not be comfortable with money and think, you know, but if you were able to help cut some people out with, with money, you know, I mean, they didn't have to worry about it. And I mean, that's a good, uh, effective approach. So this is effective. <laughs> Actually, giving the money to the people is just as effective as using the money for something that the people could use. They're both effective in their own way. Do you think that giving people money changes anything? Um, 
I think that you're giving them, you're, you're teaching them, yeah, they're going to learn a lesson, I think, because whether or not they actually, you know, gain financial success because of it, but they're going to they're gonna realize what money is. And so, you know, gonna, What's money? Nothing. They're going to realize that. So they realize that money is nothing? Money is nothing. They're going to realize that. And then so what do they do with money they realize that? Huh? When you give someone money, do you think they really realize get, that it's I meaningless? That, I think that ultimately that's the, that's the ultimate thing that you can learn from having money is that it doesn't mean it. Because like, well, once you have money, I, I would believe that it doesn't change who you are. You don't think people learn that by having no money? Yeah, I think the either extreme. And that's why the poor stay poor and yeah, the but rich they stay still, rich. But the poor still wonder what it's like to have money. Once you have money, you've been there and you're like, it really is nothing. But then, if you think of someone that was rich, had that epiphany, would they give it all away? Um, I, 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 I think that. I think that the money, it touches on money, it touches keep, on that. People that get money, they'll always just want more of it, it seems it's like. like. It's like they can't, they don't get to a point where they realize that it's useless. Well, it doesn't mean anything because it does mean something. I guess you're right. It means power. And power, like, makes people hungry. It means more influence, power. yeah, more power. So giving people money doesn't re doesn't really do anything, or just make people more power hungry. I it can go so many different ways. It depends on the person you give it on, give it to, and their understanding of money. If, if if I receive money, what do I do with it? Versus if I give a poor person money, what do they do with it? You know, yeah. it depends really on the person. It doesn't. I mean, it has the power. It has the potential to give somebody power. It has the potential to give somebody freedom. But the moment has like, the moment has the potential to give anybody anything. Anybody can receive anything in any moment. Receive, create. Anybody can create anything I've, in any I've never, moment. I've never had money. All I've heard about it my entire life was that it's, it corrupts you, that it, that it just creates something. Are those oh. rich people that told you that? Actually, the last rich guy I talked to said, all those people that say money is a rule of evil are full of shit. It's amazing. Exactly. I think he was really closed off mm -hmm. and afraid. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And inside his soul is saying something a lot different than what he is associated with his mind and himself with his mind and his outer appearance. Now, hypothetically speaking, if we were rich, would we be having the same discussion about money? No. No. Well, we yes, talk. we probably would because of where we've been. It depends on where you But if we were never at that point, probably then we would we'd screw up in money. So there's a lot of people out there that have grown up in money well, and have some of learning anything, yeah. So, but it's weird yeah, how yeah, money it's stays harder. in the family. It's hard to learn that. That's the problem with right, it. It, does, it, stays it stays in the family. family. It doesn't be spread among other mm -hmm. people. When people die, their wealth should be redistributed. Yeah, well, should. should be. Is that the dangerous terminology? But if if people died and their money was redistributed, where would it be redistributed to? Yeah. To all the other people. I don't know. What people? In the country. It's like specific people, or like organizations, or what? People. Imagine it's, if it's everybody, everybody died and went. To either. It's all their money was divided up, so you get like 0.6 percent, point six cents from somebody's death. Then you know people die all the time. You just get you get debt. But then you get that's <laughs> incredible. That'd be wild. But then you get then you get those people that have a never fly. Not in this capitalist society. The, the, you're right. You get and also we have a weird we have a weird thing about death too. Like death, um, like death. Like you you know you can't do that because they're dead. You know, like leave, leave their dead. stuff alone. Yeah. Like what is that all about? Like these worldly possessions don't even matter. Dude, the Egyptians would bury them with money. Yeah, because the, because whatever that stuff is gonna do, it's gonna it's already you know. It's been ingrained in society that money is important since there was society, since money existed, I guess. And when money didn't no, exist, rich it was shell. It's, like it's just it's a pow power. Power. Because before money, there was barter, and the person that had the most to barter had the most power. But what was barter? It would be like I'll give you two lambs for that crate of. Oranges. But, exactly yes. what it was. but still, so whatever had the most. So then you would be like, what you wanted more lambs, so you could get more oranges. But it was different. Like both back in bartering times, you you just had to do what you were born with. If they were, if you were an orange farmer, you had to be an orange farmer to be able to barter your oranges. And not everybody wants oranges, so you'd be like, oh my god. But like money, there was no power. It wasn't like power. You just you just. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't power that got out of control. It didn't get out of control. It couldn't. One person can't have a million oranges. You have to have a 
a way to pay them. You have to have a way to take care of that, and that's capitalism. It's money. is the answer to that. You can just give a bunch of people money to take care of your oranges. If you can give a bunch of people money now, some will go buy guns with it and kill other people. Well, so you get rid of all our records. I don't know if it's that easy. Well, it's 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 like fundamentally get everyone getting rid of all the weapons would work because there'd be no weapons for anybody to be afraid of. Like just to have them destroyed. Everybody just saw it at the same time. Like realize, okay, at the next level, next step. Like let's stop killing each other. Like why are we fuck are we doing this? Like okay, let's put away our little toys. Come on, babies, let's go off. In this put, moment. put away our little toys and go up. And it's like people are so afraid they're gonna get jumped. If we always talk about. What's going to happen? What could happen? What if? And we always talk about what happened so we can try to control what will happen based on the knowledge of the past. Rather than accepting the future, rather than, no, rather than accepting right now, we choose to bring up the past. We choose to bring up what we think is going to happen based on the past. Rather than saying, no, nope, this is the only thing that exists, and this is the only concern that I have right here and right now. Why are we so afraid to hold the moment, like, so close? Addition. What? We just do what we we do what we know. It's like the way the body was built. It's a curse. It's not the way the body was built. It's the way we were taught. I mean, media, parents, friends, teachers. But we just do what we're taught. School, if teachers taught us. So man. if we're taught not to do what we're taught, what would happen? This brings up a theory of um, in art class. If the the kids were taught that the sky could be any color, not just blue, and trees could look like anything, and not just what we see trees as. What would that kid grow up like? What would he be like? What would he talk about? How would he think? How, what would a conversation like him illuminate? It would be amazing. Much so more yes, interesting than if, that if we teach our kids it. and we teach everybody else and we teach ourselves not to accept things at face to, value. How would you say it? We teach us if we taught kids not to believe what they're not taught. Not to believe what they're taught. And then teach ourselves to not believe what yeah, they're like, taught. Yeah, like, okay, like, it's okay. This is what I was saying. Like, it's like. Just live in the moment. Just go with the facts. Like, you right take. Now, you like, you, let's say someone tells you something, right? And you you, you think of it, and then you, you formulate mm -hmm. your own opinion from that. Whether, it, I mean, it might be the same opinion as the, what they said, or it might be different. But the important thing is, is formulating your own opinion. Like, you have to use your own mind to formulate your opinions because that's what like makes you you know you and instead like I think we should re do a lot of re-examining of our of, of a lot of our issues that we have with like you know the world is you know inside of inside us. of ourselves really and to see if, if we are if, if it's coming from like a genuine spot that we made that decision which is fine whatever whatever decision it is but but we have we to see. make sure that you made it, not someone else. You because know? what we see when we examine ourselves is like a denial of fear, and that's why we don't. That's why we don't. That's why we don't fucking examine ourselves half the time. Well, I think the reason we don't examine ourselves half the time is because I say we don't do it. Exactly. Maybe so we I'm talking about the past. Yeah. In the past, people we haven't have chose not to examine themselves because it's. It's scary to confront that denial, to, to let go of that denial. It's, of scary, the, it's scary to confront anything, yeah. especially the unknown. And like, you yeah. don't know yourself. We don't know ourselves when we're young, when we're growing. I mean, that's what I think we're born is. knowing ourselves. who you are. We're born are. knowing ourselves, but we forget because we're too much other shit infused on, with fear, piled on top of yeah. the sociological crap, money. So then, examining yourself. changes it. And I think that people are doing that now. And that's what YouTube is, is an indication of that. Self-examination. And that's why the human race is evolving and why I don't think that there's going to be this immense destruction that everyone's anticipating. Yeah, why, but I say that everyone's anticipating. No, as long as we don't anticipate a destruction, there won't be it, I don't think. No. We have to, like, manifest whatever it is that's going to happen. And it may, you know, things will change, everything's changing, but human race, the destruction of the human race relies on the human race, not not the environment. Not well I was gonna say not the not the plants and the trees and the wind and the water, but but us. that is us. We are human race is the trees and the water and the sky. The human race is ours. It's all connected. The human race I think are the humans. We're all connected. 
So are there, is there, but is we're there, not all the same thing. We have the consciousness. I don't think the plants do. They just do what they have to do. Do they? They grow towards the, the sunflowers. Sun. Go towards the sun because that's what they have to do. They don't question. And they want to. And they just they have to, to survive. They have to survive. They don't or have to die. Or else they perish. But it's like they're just doing the same thing we're doing. Surviving. But we have consciousness that leads us to do. Create YouTube and ask questions. To yeah. Truly understand that the plant and the human is the same. That's the that's the power of the consciousness. We can understand that we're we're the same thing. You think they but we have a different that? we have different complexities, and one is consciousness. And I don't think that plants have consciousness. I think they have pure. I think they have pure consciousness. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Because the consciousness can be a cure. Mind a curse. is a curse because like we, we question our consciousness, mm -hmm. and then we doubt, and but then we the fear. Plants are just beings. Deep. That could be the highest state of, yeah. of evolution. Uh, uh, yeah. That oh they're not. God. That they're not thinking. They're not dwelling in what if. The Buddha know? boys meditating under a tree. I mean, at a tree, you know, we go to the beach. It's just exist. We just want to exist. See, if we don't have to eat food, if we don't have to work out, if we don't have to create, if we don't have to do anything. And if we were just like plants, what would we be like at that point? If we're just existing because we have to, just growing towards the sun because that's what we do. What would our minds be? How would we? How would we? What would life be? In a constant state of meditation, it would be. Everybody, it would be, a, it would be extra planar. We'd be experiencing a different. Reality. Would there be communication? Yeah. But verbal? It would, be, it would be no. There would be no. There would be no verbal. There would be no physical anymore. There would be a, a united. Yeah. Consciousness. Which is probably what plants feel. Which is why you, there wouldn't be. See, then consciousness wouldn't even exist. Yeah. Because you see a whole field of sunflowers, and they're all going towards the sun. Yeah, but they're feeling like. They're not communicating with each other. They're just doing that individually. You see, like, you cut down trees in Brazil, and then the planet fucking hurricanes the south of the U.S. Because so it has far to. away, because it knows the U.S. is the cause of the fucking chaos. I think it's just because I mean, it has to. I guess it just knows the people are the cause of the chaos. You think it has to? You yeah. Think it chooses to. I don't think it chooses to. I think no. it just does because it has to. You don't think ice chooses to melt? Ice it's just melts. Ice, ice melts because it has to. You think? Yeah. Maybe because it doesn't have a consciousness, it doesn't have a choice. Like ice plants, plants have no choice. See, there's a difference here. Ice is solidified water. Plants actually are alive. Oh, what does that mean? Alive. Alive. Um, they Ice. grow and then they die. In our in our more. human definition, they're alive. Water yeah, isn't really alive. Like, what's alive? What's I know, alive? I know. It's all alive. But on the, but on the basic level, we can take this as you know as deep as we can. But for argument's sake, my mind keeps going back to string theory, like how it's all just the same stuff, everything, and it's all affecting itself. Superficially, it seems like plants are one thing and humans are another, and rocks are something useless. But mm, no. I don't when agree I agree with this, that. but something <laughs> dead. Mm -mm. But it's not that they're dead. It's just yeah, they're, they're, they're little particles going around. Yeah. It's the same. It's like all the same stuff, all affecting itself. And it's the human all view, you it's think, all physical reality. So do you think that the human race, is, is the fear and the anger that the human race is perpetuating is just causing such a disturbance in things that that's why it's starting to wipe us out? <laughs> If we just if we just consciously evolve, it will stop doing it. Yes. I feel very if we can let go of consciousness, man. And just, and let, just go of, let go of talking about it? Let go of consciousness altogether and just do what we have to do. With the enlightenment, we're talking about not laughing, not crying. Just doing what we have to do. What is What do we have to do, though? But like we just have to associate so much with these emotions of like crying and laughing, like joy and, and sadness, you know, like because we feel that's what makes us human. That's what makes us. That's just an indicator of our anger, though, and our fear. Mm -hmm. That doesn't have to be human. That's just what human was in the past. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah human can be anything, right? We yeah. define ourselves as anything. Totally. We we're so afraid. We're so afraid to we evolve. Evolve. We just don't. Are we? I think that we're not. I we think can that's create, why we we're create, doing this. We can create the fact that we're not. We can say, no, we are not afraid. We are evolving every day. Yeah. But I, we're I evolving less effectively than possible. if everybody knew. If possible. Right. Yeah. The more people that do it, the faster it happens. The faster we evolve. 
all of us. Everybody, that's a great way of thinking because a lot of people sit there and say, well, we're not doing this and we're not evolving, this and that. But we are. Like I just said, but we are. We are evolving every day. We have no choice because everything is alive and yeah. we're all the time. Exactly. The human race is just constantly evolving, but there's the problem is they're constantly we're re trying, we're reproducing physically and it's fucking getting out of balance now. The yeah. production, physical production of people and the planet's going to... And we're trying very hard to stop, stop ourselves from changing too. Like we say we want to change and like... No, we're not. Stuff, but no, we're not. We're, we're still... You think that... See, we got to create the moment. You're right. Because if we say we're stopping ourselves, then we are, but we're not. No, we're not stopping we're, ourselves. We have a camera on and, and making this... This will be something to explore. But for all we know, yeah, right. we're the only people that exist right now. We are. We are right now. Because there is only this experience. There's only this experience in this moment. And this is changing everything. Great man, you can, you can smile because it's <laughs> it's, it's through your whole body. To it it <laughs> resonates through your whole body. I felt the I felt the nervousness pour through me when I saw it's it in you. I felt it, but then it. There was nervousness that you saw. I felt it. The laughter. Maybe you feel nervous. Oh, I get I get in the pit of my think? stomach. Yeah, because that's what you're saying. So it's, it's what you're feeling. So you think when people laugh, it's because I'm nervous. Or or you get nervous when people laugh. And I don't realize it consciously. No, no. I, I think I cause it, and then and then when I when I re when it registers in my mind, then I react to it. Dude, when I was meditating the other night, did you watch that last video? I made? Yes. No, no, I didn't. And I oh god, you, it's like twelve minutes. It's so it's so. I was talking about when we were meditating, and when you were getting up and like shifting around. Yeah. It was because in my mind, I would be have this blank calm meditation and then my mind would it happened twice my mind started to wander a little and then you shifted and I was like and I called on I realized I made that happen I, I caused a disturbance so I stopped and I was calling it and then my mind started to wander again and you got up and you were like this making, music I was making so, sure that you guys were like still feeling talking that. about the music because I was nervous and it, you, it created that and then I said everything is amazing right now or something like that I Something like I call myself, and you said, awesome, I love that you guys have the patience for this, and then you just relaxed again. Exactly. And I was like, I made that. My mind made it all. Yeah, I felt that. You felt that. So, yeah. did, did Dominic, did Dominic and from my make point you view, say that? My, my point of view. At the same time? Wait, what, wait, what was your point of view? I was saying, from my point of view, I, was, I felt like, I felt the disturbance, so I got up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I kind of thought that you guys were getting ready to just like, not be doing this anymore. And so I kind of looked around for a second, and then I was like, and I noticed you guys were both just feeling it. Yeah. And I was like, it reassured me, and I was just like, awesome. And I was like, dude, it was glad you had the patience for this. That whole experience was completely connected. Yeah, it was. What were you saying? You said that you made Dominic sit back down in your mind. You created. I call the myself. Yeah. And when you were calm, when you said. I am everything's amazing. Everything is amazing. We said I everything is amazing. Dominic said I'm glad you guys have patience for this and sat down. Yeah. You created that. But then but again, then Dominic I, created, I your created your thought you. as well. Yeah. Uh, it was a perfect harmonious yeah. moment. Your reaction to my nervousness calmed me or 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 informed me of what was happening. And so I was able to calm myself. And you or no, you you calmed me. I have to let go of this this ego trip and think that it's all me. Every consciousness is controlling everything. Yes. See, that's the key that you that you see. You do.